Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Let me start by saying this. William Ruto will be a very lucky man if he finishes his first term. In this video, I want us to have a look at some reactions from Juja Kiamu. For the reactions are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion in this video. <laughs> Tunahofia sana, sana sana watoto na wamama. Wamama wajawazito, wengi hata ukimpeleka hospitali, unapata amepata mtoto kwa jia. Ni vile, hata huku, tukona tuna, ile kimila, juu wengiwa wa huku ni wakikuyu. Ni vile kukona kimila. Igekua ni kuingine, ukepata mtoto wa meitua jia, jia, barabara, wengine vubi. Juu, amezaliwa kwa barabara, barabara. Tunahitaji barabara huku kwetu, tunahitaji maji safi. Sayu kienda kwa hii mtu hiko hapa, hii diyo hiko inatusaidia. Na tutatebea mpaka kule juu kwenye maji imefungiwa ya funguliwe juu huu mtu hauna maji e, wanasema tu wanafikiri labda the worst we can do is to vote them out lakini nataka kusema kwamba raundi hii tutapeleka watu mahakamani kwa sababu they obtained our votes on false pretense mm -hmm. we shall sue them kwa sababu wali pledge vitu na wanakaa miaka tano hawafanya ni mazoea ambayo nimeyaona hapa katika mji wa hiki e, county ya Kiambu mtu anachaguliwa anawacha watu wake anasema watu kinitoa nishatengeneza pesa raundi hii ukitoka ujitimiza hadi yako tutakupeleka mahakama kujibu mashtaka ya kudanganya raia ya kwamba utatenda hili umelipo mshahara miaka mitano na kuna kitu ambacho umetenda au utaenda nyumbani bila bila kushmashtaka hiyo mji huku hakika nimefanya kazi sehemu nyingi Kenya hii nimefanya kazi Mombasa nimefanya kazi Nairobi nimefanya kazi miji ya Kitale lakini hakuna mali nimefanya kazi katika experience yangu ya 15 years ambayo nimehurumia patience kama mji huu wakati wa baridi ukija matope inawasumbua vumbi kama saizi kila mtu anakohoa kila mtu ana wale ambao wako na shida ya asthma wanataabika badala ya kununua unga sasa wananunua dawa tu dawa tu dawa tu hata mimi kama mzazi na mimi kama daktari mimi nahurumia hawa watu wakifikiria ati bottom up sasa dio bottom up itaanza yani bottom up ni gani hakuna hakuna bottom up ni watu wa chini wa, wa, bottom up ni watu wa chini warekebishiwe barabara Bottom up ni watu wa chini watengenezewe maji ya kunywa hapa mtu hata imekauka hakuna mahali mtu ambaye amba, amba, amba anataka kuupika am, anaweza pata maji Those are Kiambu County residents and from their speeches it's very clear they are castigating their elected leaders in William Ruto's narrative of bottom ups they are a very disappointed lot with that narrative of bottom-ups. That only means that those who supported Ruto are very much angry with him. And that's not the first demonstration or protest we are seeing. Yesterday, Nyamakima traders, small-scale traders, within the CBD also staged protests after they were dispersed by the police. The same same people who are talking of freedom is coming. Si uchawi ni maombi. And we, are, we have also seen some protests in Mombasa and they generally across the country Kenyans are disappointed with William Ruto. And let's just remind ourselves once more of some comments that came from Wasingishu, the heart of Kalenji Nation. Listen to this once more. Machina anaitwa Samuel Kipchumba Kaptoge. Mimi ni mkaaji wa Wasingishu. Ulisema ya kwanza mnaleta loan without what? Without interest, kuingia muka tukana muka sema hakuna kitu ya pure. Alamu kutoko toko, muka ambia, pipilia ikienda chini, 
Bibi Elia inaenda bwendo chini. Nitahakikisha kwamba upande wa Marakwet iko amani, hakuna gato rustling. Nataka niwaambie nataka nimesema kwamba baba asante kwa kuchakua hiyo njia ya kuvota sheria step by step. Asante sana baba. Baba asibanya magosa kuenda aguche hapa aone kama anapendwa. Aguche hapa ini ini bedroom ya baba kauli. Baba asisahau wasingishu. All those events confirms that Kenyans are already tired with a William Ruto's presidency. Ruto has been in power for less than seven months. And already, Kenyans are fed up with him. If you look at what Ruto's government is doing, you are just seeing that in the coming months, things are going to be more even more difficult for the so-called hustlers for Mamamboga. Things are going to worsen. This is why I believe it will be miraculous for Wooton to finish his first term. Generally, I've always maintained here, and I still repeat, Ruto and his team were not prepared to rule to form a government. So Kenyans are dealing with a very clueless group, trial and error. After six months, promise after promise. And the funny bit about it, why I strongly believe that it will be miraculous for Ruto to reach 27, look at the calibers Ruto has appointed in his government. Non-corrupt individuals, some even murder suspects, those are the individuals who have been appointed in this government. And them being appointed in government does not now make them not corrupt. In fact, William Ruto appointing such individuals in his government can just make the individuals more corrupt. Now that they are in power, they will shield themselves. In fact, they will be more corrupt. So they will be stealing from public coffers. Service delivery will not be going to the people. And as they steal, Kenyans will be pushed, or other Kenyans will be overtaxed, definitely. University school fee has already been tripled. Help loans has been removed. The cost of living is going up each and every time. These are things that will worsen as time goes by. And those demonstrations we are seeing are just early signs, early warnings to William Ruto. You deliver or you be prepared for a possible revolution and it's not far it's not far-fetched this is something coming revolution most definitely is coming all those complaints coming especially from areas that voted for William Ruto confirmed they are regretting for having voted the way they did they are just waking up with the reality that Ruto lied to them. And it's actually true, Ruto lied to these people and they bought his lies. Look at William Ruto's manifesto. All the things he promised, he has actually done the opposite. And this is why I've always maintained that where Kenya is currently, it just needs a spark. Just a spark for a revolution. Earlier today we saw Eric Omondi again being arrested when he was distributing some unga. So you are seeing rebellion is slowly building against Sudo's government. And to make matters even worse, in eight days' time, Raila will be leading the country into demonstrations 
in the event William Ruto fails to lower the cost of living. Yes. And I personally believe that if Raila can command all his supporters across the country to all converge in Nairobi, then no power, no military can stop that. Yes. No military or no power can stop that. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you're giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who wants to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Those residents, by, those Kiamu residents and those who are English residents, though they are confirming that William Ruto lied to them. They are waking up to the reality that all the nice promises made by William Ruto were all lies. So they just need a spark for them to take to the streets. Let's meet in our next analysis.